Hello everybody, Shadow here, and welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom. Um, we're here at a stable because I accidentally found out that I hadn't visited this stable. Um, so I got a pony point for it, which got me the Traveler's Saddle. Um, so I'm not entirely sure what... I think this is just visually... Okay. Um, so yeah, we're here at this stable. We've got ourselves Pen. Hello, partner. You here to investigate the rumors too? I admire your spirit. Most folks would leave a story until a bit later in the day, but not you. You're the real deal. I've been hearing some interesting chirps and warbles. Oh. Oh, you're also a reporter? I just had a bit of a strange experience is all. Okay. You see, I was in the debris near the three-way intersection up ahead when a woman came up to me. Please, please, you have to help her. Her life is in danger. It would only make it worse to reveal who she is. But please, you, ha you must save her. That's what she said to me. Okay. The woman sounded really desperate, so I decided to follow her. But no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't keep up. Eventually, I lost track of her. That's all there is to it. Oh. Hey, partner. Does something strike you as odd about this person whose identity can't be revealed? Hmm. As if revealing who she is to strangers is dangerous? Could she be someone of great importance? And if her life is already in danger... Well, combining these facts makes me wonder if this isn't actually a particular important person who has gone missing. I can't be sure, of course, but if there is a slight chance. There's only one way for us to know for sure, though. We'll have to peck away at the, this news and see what the truth is. Mm. Now that I'm thinking about this whole th about the whole thing again, why was that woman staring so ha hard at my hair? How strange. <coughs> Why do I have the feeling that this is a Yiga trap? Alright, I'm just gonna take Pona out. I do want to investigate this, so um, we're gonna quick investigate it, and then we are gonna head off and see if we can get to the um, Zoro's Domain. Oh no, my poor friend. Please, you must save her. Are you okay? B -b Blonde hair. I don't know who you are, but I ask that you please help me. My poor regal friend's life is in danger. I cannot reveal who she is, for that would only make things worse. She's hiding and hiding and unable to move. My friend is in such danger. Please, I cannot help her all by myself. Let's go. Oh, thank you so much. My friend is in hiding right now. That is the only way for her to remain undetected by those with ill intent. Oh, of course I'm pointing the wrong direction. We should go to where my friend is, but be careful not to be seen. We do not want to draw evil to her. I will wait for you down this road. Meet me as soon as you can. Okay. Well. How far down this road? There she is. I slowed down too much. My apologies for leaving you behind. I was overtaken by my concern for my friend. She is resting safely out of sight. It is the only way to stay safe. I am sorry that the path is so poor. Okay. Could you possibly go to the top of that cliff? Uh -huh. 
We can meet right where you see the fallen debris. Okay. I'm definitely being taken for a fool. Uh, do I still have a... I do not currently have a rocket shield. I mean, granted, I, I'm, I have rockets in my baubles. So I could easily make one. But I don't know if I necessarily feel like using it on this. Let me regen my stamina so I can make it to the top. Make it to the top. Da 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 do 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 do. Come on. Come on. Alright, well this is a very easy resting spot. Okay, that was maybe a bit risky. Using that much uh, jumping. But we made it, so it paid off. So I was right to do it. But now, but now I can't get the final five steps. Hello? It must be him, then. Oh, I am so rude. You have my apologies. Come now, my friend is, my friend is waiting ahead. She is waiting nearby, around the debris on the opposite cliff. I will go on ahead and let her know that you are coming. <laughs> it is a bit far off, but I know you will be able to make it. This is totally a Yiga trap. We already know that they have a lot of the Great Plateau um, taken over, right? I am sorry for all of that. It was important me f for me to test you. Blonde hair, courage to overcome a challenge, and then another challenge, and then another. Oh, uh, and your disgusting, unwavering commitment to do good. You are Princess Zelda's chosen bodyguard and the Swordman Link, correct? <laughs> <laughs> I am so glad to have finally met to finally meet you. Now I can take you to the last stop in our little journey. <laughs> You're great. <laughs> Really? Come on. You guys suck at fighting. I'll I'll let you off this time, but don't ex expect such mercy next time. Prepare yourself. All right. Well, have fun with that. Hi. Hey. Hey, partner. Hi. Well, so this is where your investigation took you. Looks like you really got yourself out on a limb there. I've been scanning from the skies trying to get to the bottom of this story. I heard that woman was luring people away. I thought I heard her voice, so I swooped on down. And hey, here you are. So tell me, what have you unearthed? I see. Who could have guessed that this whole story would be an elaborate trap set by the Yiga clan? If you didn't know, they're a group of assassins trying to bring down the kingdom of Hyrule. I heard they were good at disguising themselves, but playing the part of a villager, I never would have guessed. And all to flush out the swordman who protects the princess. They thought you, a young up-and-coming reporter who just happens to have blonde hair... They believed you were actually that swordman? <laughs> uh, swordsman? That's just bad luck for you. You've definitely got some skills, though, if you can escape from the Yiga clan. I'm proud of you, partner. I'm glad I don't have to write a headline like, Junior Reporter Falls to the Cruel Blade of the Yiga in Pursuit of Truth. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. This was your first job, wasn't it? 
Partner, you did well, quite well to get such results on your first time out. Why, I'm feeling a little proud myself. Here's the start to the old nest egg. Okay, cool. As you take on more stories, your base pay will obviously increase. And there are bonuses, of course. Keep up the good work. Anyway, it's time I took off and turned these unusual details into an article. You take care, partner. So long! Ta-ta! Okay. Cool. Well... No, I want to go... So I'd like to go this way. So I think we're gonna go to this stable here. And then from there, uh, do I want to grab my, do I want to grab a horse or no? I'm not sure. Because at some point we're going to be <laughs> leaving the horse behind. Um, actually, have I been to this stable before since getting the, um, since getting the reporter job? Do I have Pen sitting around? Do you have a new quest for me? Mm. All right. Oh. Right, 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 right. Okay. Um, I guess we can take out the horse again. I kind of wish if you fast traveled to a shrine, it kind of just took the horse along with you. Uh, assuming that it was in an area where a horse is supposed to be. Or at the very least, on these designated ones. Um, right by stables, it automatically brings it to the stable. But, whatever. Okay. So we're going, we're going east. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. So we haven't really been over to this side, so. This should be interesting. Hold on, that's a well. Oh, hi. Uh, did you know that if you put your ear to a well, you can hear the wailing of the dead? Or so they say, anyway. I've heard. <laughs> wow, heroes really do know a little bit about everything. Oh... Uh, Oh, and, and guess what? You'll be joining those dead very soon. Your life is mine! You guys really need to get better at this. Um, do I have anything? No, I don't have anything to fuse that with. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, grab my iron box hammer. Smash up these gems. Grab a bomb flower. Alright. So that was fairly uneventful. But it is another well, which is another, what, like 10 rupees from that lady? Okay. Hold on, they have meat. I was really hoping I would be able to claim that meat for myself. 
But apparently that was just idle animations or something. Unfortunate, but yeah, we did it. We killed him anyway. Hold on, that's that's a buffalo. He's beautiful. Sorry, I, I, I saw it and I was like, I should probably kill that. Because, um, well, I have, I did make food, but I always need more food. And meat is a good source of that. All right. We got a Gerudo traveling along. Oh, there's a Korok. Where does this Korok need to go? Oh, that's a well. Hold on. Got a sticky frog! Uh, today I fell off a cliff. Note to self, mountain climbing on a rainy day remains a bad idea. How are sticky frogs able to, able to walk so effortlessly across such slick surfaces when I just slip and fall? If I combine the sticky frogs and monster materials, could I brew an elixir that lets me climb wet walls without slipping? A beverage like that might make for a perfect rainy day uh, ap apertifi? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Um, ascend! Hi! <laughs> I just came out of a well. Where do you need to go? Oh boy. Um, oh, perfect. Okay, we've got some, we got some perfect boat materials. <laughs> Epona, get out of the way. Um, truth be told, I don't actually think we need much else other than that. Um, I do have rockets, don't I? Oh, do I not? Okay, that's good to know. Okay, well, I guess we'll use a fan. Go forth, buddy! Is that... Hold on. What's that? Okay. Um, I definitely want to... That's not what I meant to do. Beefalo! All oh, the beefalo! And a, and a bird, apparently.
Ta da! You're welcome! Alright, now to look for all the. Riju, what were you doing with that boat? Okay, I'm just gonna walk around with my. Um. With my Ultra Handout. So I can find all of these supplies that I dropped. Oh. Very nice. I got some bird drumsticks, too. Okay. Let me see what this is. So there's a chest in there. Beam emitters. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and get into this shrine. Because I definitely need it. I need it so much. Okay. Well, what do we got this time? Deep Force. What? Oh, interesting. <laughs> okay. I had a feeling you were going to hide something in the water. Yep. I can't hold that. Um, sure. You're dead. Which isn't really that surprising, but you know. <laughs> Perfect. I want to try something that's probably stupid. Oh, dang it. It was close, but it, it did like a flip. So, unfortunately... All right. <laughs> Very cool. I had to try to do something silly. Even though it usually doesn't work. Okay. So we gotta keep moving towards the uh, Zora 
Zora's domain. Although I'm I'm very tempted to go into this depths here. Oh no, I don't want to go back into the shrine. <laughs> Hold on, there's like a there's like a full on cave here. Hold on, what's this? There we go. <laughs> Hi. You're all dead now. It's not that surprising. All right, we got an opal. Very cool. I'm wondering if there's any value in attaching those bomb, those explosive barrels onto a weapon. I guess my, my, my thought process is that Maybe you could... <laughs> I got too caught up in my own thought process, so I forgot to pull my parachute. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, what I was going to say is my, my thought process is that maybe you could attach it to a weapon that's about to break and throw it. So you might be able to get distant, you might be able to get some use out of it that way. Okay. Uh, let's just quick run over there. With, before wasting any of our bright blooms, we might as well just light this. Okay. Oh, this one might be... This one's kind of in a weird position, too. What is that? I can't pick this up because my weapons are full. Oh, but my axe is about to break anyway. Okay. Go chop a tree or something. Is this gonna be a Gibdo Queen or something? Because this kind of looks like that. Maybe this is a boss I haven't fought yet, so it's not active? Doesn't seem to be reacting to anything. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna assume that it is a boss, but it's a boss that I haven't beaten yet. And as such, I, I can't fight it.
it's entirely possible I'm just mistaken, but... Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna shoot a bright bloom out there. I should really just use the most used thing. Okay. I had a feeling that the cave was going to end there. So... There's more statues. I feel like I, I need to go back to the, um, I need to, I need to go back over here at some point to the abandoned central mine because I need to do something there first, right? Oh, and this is, I didn't, I don't think I even realized that I've, these statues are all of the different like sages. Or at the very least of the of the different species. Cause this is a Zora statue. Okay. I guess I'm doing this now. Uh though I guess I should end the episode pretty soon, so. Um Let me just get to the Oh, okay. Well, let me get to that root off in the distance. And then we will end the episode. And it doesn't look like it's going to be very complicated to get there, so. Looks fairly straightforward. I say looking at pure darkness. Water? Oh dear. Um, okay, well, I guess I am eating uh, these rice balls. Okay, I can see the end of the water. We're almost there. Oh, come on! What? Fine. I'll go up the hill a little bit. And glide all the way over if you don't want me swimming. Okay. <laughs> So we're going to have to end the episode there. So that is it for today. Next time, we're going to keep following these statues. I think now that we're in the depths, we might as well just do some stuff in the depths. Um, we do need to follow those, like, Zonai statues. So there's that. Um, I actually, hold on. Where is the... Okay, there we go. There they are. All right. So we're going to follow these Zora statues and see where they lead us. And then we're going to, after we get to this, which is, it's just probably going to be a mine. And then we will probably hop over to the central mine and see what we missed there. So uh, look forward to that. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please let me know down in the comments below and maybe leave a like. And if you want to catch the next episode as it comes out, go ahead and hit subscribe. But for now, that's it. So, see ya!